my friends, it's time for upwards and onwards to season six, where we shall find some new challenges ahead. The Woo-hoo! portal no longer Absolutely. takes us to the never. Due to the magic of video editing, it will take us to a whole new world. <laughs> and you're ready to join me. Magic, but... So long, music. farewell. Then so the Hashtag episode. Oh my goodness. A strange yeah. man ahead. Many people are lagging out of a portal. <laughs> wow. Hi. Oh, he came out of a portal and Hello. just was hanging Hello. there. Hi, stranger. Who are you? Hello. Well, well it's only been. Sparta! <laughs> I just felt that when we ran to you. Know. For you. Long oh, serve, you. everybody. Back in the portal. I'm turning the bus around. Sorry, Queen. We'll leave you alone. Oh, it's only been sure two years of comments saying join Hermitcraft, so I think it's what, probably about time. Why didn't you join yeah. sooner? Wow. So it's that easy to get <laughs> on. Welcome. Here. welcome. Two years, millions of subscribers, and hundreds and thousands of comments. So there you I go. mean, That's I gotta say, Grian, I just gotta <laughs> ask, like, you're, you're known to be this super builder of Doom. Uh, did you see the place that we were in versus your little world here? I mean, doesn't look all that impressive, man. <laughs> Have you, you been here for two years like waiting? Minutes. Minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. the, see, the secret is that this world started out as a single block of bedrock, and he built all of it. Ah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> ah, very good. <laughs> Got him. What you don't know is this is actually a sky block. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hermitcraft Season 6. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having an awesome day, and I am incredibly excited this year. I'm going to talk in this episode about what the plan is for Season 6 and what makes it so special. We've already done our intro. Some of us have been playing for a couple of hours. I've got some stuff. I don't know how much of the uh, the whole like intro and giant bit with all us playing together. I don't know how much of that I'm actually going to show uh, just because it's, you know, fairly long and there's a lot of like not important stuff that happens. Um, but in case I don't show the important stuff, uh, I did find a couple of pirate ships on my way here. I've got some iron tools. I've found some goodies and different things, raided a village, got plenty of food. And basically in today's episode, what I want to do is build just kind of like a little starter house to get started with. Um, and while I'm doing that, I want to kind of discuss my, uh, my, my plans for season six. So I'm going to head to approximately negative 400 or so, which is like right here. And then negative 800 is this way. And I'm going to basically put my starter house at negative 400, negative 800, which is going to be right in the middle of the medieval district. And you're probably wondering, what are these districts you speak of? Well, I have a fancy map that will kind of explain the series for you. So basically, um, if any of you remember Kingdom Craft from way, well, I shouldn't say way back in the day, from before I joined Hermitcraft, basically the concept was that Everyone on the server worked together to create these, like, kingdoms, these areas or regions or districts or whatever you want to call them. Um, and we all kind of worked together to meet that goal. And that's kind of what we're going to be doing in Hermitcraft Season 6. So we have a whole bunch of different districts, and each of them have a different theme. So this is right about where we want to be for our starter house. Let's maybe build it like up on this hill. Also floating grass. And you can see right now we're in pre-release eight, um, not in 1.13. It's actually uh, Tuesday when I'm recording this. Um, and we had a couple like issues with the pre-release, but uh, anyway, so like right around here is, is where we're gonna be. Um, or maybe like right here. This is actually nice and flat. Yeah, let's let's build right here. Um, but anyway, we've got all these districts. I'll put the map up on the screen so you can see them. And there's like fantasy, there's medieval, there's a pirate themed area, there's an industrial area, which is like kind of going to be industrial revolution style. There's going to be modern, which isn't so much modern as it is like 
present day. So that would include like suburban skyscrapers, uh, stuff that you would see in like Scar City, for example, from last season, uh, all sorts of different things. And there's a whole bunch of different districts, and nobody is going to own their own district. Like, the the medieval district, for example, is not going to belong to me. Uh, the, the futuristic district is not going to belong to Biffa, and so on and so forth. It, all the districts are going to be worked on, uh, well, not necessarily by all the hermits, but all the hermits are going to have the option to work in basically all of the districts, and the goal is, by the end of the season, we want to have essentially like this, uh, almost like a theme park is kind of what we're going for. So it's going to be like this idea that um, you'll be able to essentially go through all of these districts and see uh, a huge, like a mega build sort of thing built by everyone on the server. It's going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to be a very, very collaborative season because everybody's going to be working on everything. We're all in a relatively small area. So we'll be it's, it's going to be kind of like season four where we're going to have, uh, you know, stuff popping up all over the place and, and different things like that. Um, we're going to have... Uh, probably a lot of opportunities for collaborations. Uh, some people are still going to have bases. Uh, some of us are planning on being a little bit more nomadic. My plan is not to have like a, me a, a mega base in this season. I'm not planning on building another Castle Greystone or a Dwarven base or anything like that. I mean, who knows? Maybe as time passes, I'll get that uh, that itch to, to build a base of some sort. Uh, but for the moment, my plan is basically to have a, essentially like a storage room a, and a crafting area and a bed. And that's going to be like my quote unquote base. But then throughout the entire uh, season, throughout the whole series, what I'm planning on doing is kind of bouncing back and forth between the different districts. So, you know, maybe we would do like a couple episodes building a modern house in the present day district. And then, uh, you know, we'll go to the... Uh, the fantasy district and build, um, I don't know, an elven house. And then maybe we would go to the industrial district and build a factory or like, or whatever. I, I think it's going to be really, really cool. Um, and it's going to be a very interesting season with a lot of ideas. And I, I think a lot of collaborations and, uh, and interactions with the other hermits and stuff as well. So I'm really looking forward to it. This season is in many ways heavily inspired by Kingdom Craft. Uh, we've been kind of brainstorming and, and building the concept for this for quite some time, uh, and uh, I think we're all pretty excited. We are also playing with the new Minecraft textures, uh, which is going to be interesting. Um, some of them... I, I was kind of talking with Jevin about this uh, in sort of the intro, uh, like during that whole kind of initial section where uh, we were all playing and you know stuff like that and when it comes to the new textures like 90 percent of them i like i think are either uh, an improvement over the previous texture or are uh, are neutral right like it's not a negative change i, I think they're either as good or better than the previous textures. There's just like 10% of them where I'm like, eh, this could still be improved a bit. Um, but those textures are still being developed, so who knows, we'll see. But anyway, going back to this whole districts thing, the other kind of interesting thing about this is that all of the different districts or kingdoms or regions or whatever you wanna call them, I think districts is probably the easiest way to explain them, so I'm gonna keep calling them districts. Each of the districts has its own block palette as well. Now, the block palette isn't going to be quite as important when we're first all getting started here and we're just kind of building like starter houses out of, you know, whatever we can get our hands on. Uh, but as the season progresses, once we kind of get to that point where we have a lot of stuff uh, and we actually have access to all the different resources, uh, all of the districts are going to have their own block palette. So by the end of the season, everything's going to have kind of like this nice unified look, like everything in the pirate district will look like it fits there and everything in the medieval district will look like it fits in the medieval district and so on and so forth like there'll be a unified consistent style and theme 
across uh, each of the districts, which I think is really cool. Now, I'm, to clarify, I'm not saying that the block palette is the same for every district, because obviously you wouldn't use the same blocks building like a medieval house that you would building like a futuristic house. Um, but each of the individual districts will have its own block palette and its own kind of unified theme and build style that everyone has kind of uh, agreed to adhere to, at least to some extent. Now, obviously, there's still going to be a lot of room for creativity working within that block palette, but I think it's going to result in uh, a, a world download by the very end of the season that is absolutely incredible to explore. Uh, if you go back and you look at Kingdom Craft back in the day, you can see some of those areas, and and there were some uh, there we use block palettes and stuff there as well, uh, and I think it really turned out very well as a result. Like it's just one of those things where having that uh, can make a, a big difference in making the builds look great and look unified and uh, and nonsensical. Also, we're gonna have shopping. We're gonna have a shopping district. A proper shopping district, not one that just sells services, but one that sells goods and items. I don't know what their currency is going to be just yet. I think it's going to be, uh, it might just end up being diamonds again. I'm totally fine with that. I think diamonds are kind of the most sensible currency, <laughs> if you ask me. But we are definitely going to have a shopping district again. We learned our lesson in Season 5 when our, uh, our idea of shops as uh, only selling services kind of flopped. And uh, we're learning from those mistakes. We will absolutely have a shopping district again. And honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if we have a proper shopping district for every season of Hermitcraft from here on out. Um, only time will tell, but I, I, I think this is kind of one of those things where we learned our lesson and we now know shopping district is super important. So um, we've got a whole district dedicated to shopping, and that's going to be the only one that doesn't have any sort of a block palette. It's just going to be build uh, things that make your shops stand out. So very kind of like season four esque where, uh, you know, Mumbo might build a TNT shop that looks like a TNT block and Cub might build an Elytra shop that looks like an Elytra. And, you know, Iskall might build a guardian, uh, a, a guardian farm drops shop that, you know, uses all those blocks and so on and so forth. I think, I think that'll be uh, very, very good. Uh, so let's start thinking about a starter house here. Let's just make it fairly small. It doesn't need to be very big. Maybe like, um, maybe like there. And then we'll go maybe like this. I think that's a decent size. And then we'll kind of go boop, boop. And uh, yes, I know this is a build style that those of you who watch my Kingdom series are very familiar with right now. And uh, you know what? That's okay. <laughs> it's a starter house. This probably won't even be around for very long. Um, but I want to get just a little bit of a starter house kind of put up here. Something fairly simple. Something that I don't really have to think about too much and plan out a whole lot. I'm just going to build something fairly easy. Uh, as our little starter house while I keep talking about uh, our plans uh, and goals for the season. And we have quite a few of them. Um, as far as other important information, Grian, new hermit. We now have a new hermit. That's pretty cool. I'm excited. Uh, Grian is someone who a lot of people have been asking for us to join Hermitcraft for a long time. And we don't add people to Hermitcraft because people ask us to add those people. Um, but Grian is friends with a lot of hermits. I I don't really know him too well, if I'm being honest, but I'm excited to get to know him. Uh, he, he seems like a very cool guy. Obviously, he's a very talented builder, uh, and he is also, uh, he also has kind of a reputation for being a little bit of like a prankster, a little bit of a joker, uh, and uh, doing a little bit of kind of entertaining sort of stuff. So uh, that could be kind of cool as well. Oh, did X drown? Oh, no rip um, anyway so i'm excited to have him as well also look at this eight oak stairs we are using uh custom recipes for certain things some of the things in minecraft that have a recipe that we think is just kind of silly we have modified them so they'll make more sense 
Uh, I think that is stairs are now worth eight blocks, uh, or you now get eight stairs instead of uh, four. Um, we've changed it so that wool can be dyed. Um, I'm just going to use cobblestone as my wool. But this would now create eight blue wool instead of previously where you had to do it like this and it would be like one dye per wool. So that's been changed. I think we also have the dye. Uh, we're planning to do the dye thing. I don't know how much of it's actually implemented at this point. I know we ran into a couple technical difficulties. Um, but basically, we're going to have some custom recipes that will make things uh, a little bit more sensible, I think. Like, uh, there's a lot of recipes in Minecraft that I think are just a little strange. Where I kind of look at them like, why would you decide to do it this way? That's just a little silly. Um, but yeah, it'll be good. I'm trying to think, what else? Uh, we're going to have a custom villager that uh, will have mob heads. Uh, we're going to have custom armor stand. There's going to be a whole bunch of different stuff. I'm sure it'll all kind of come out as we go along. Um, but yeah, I'm super, super excited for this season. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, I think this season has the potential to possibly be the best Hermitcraft season ever. And I don't say that lightly. So... I'm super excited. I'm going to start doing a bit more work on my house here, kind of getting things situated. I'm going to do a little bit of the resource grind and all that kind of stuff. I'll catch up with you in just a little bit. I've decided I'm going to do a little bit of branch mining. Well, not br not branch mining, but more like caving. Uh, but basically, this, we've got like this perfect little cave, like right next to our house. I haven't explored very deep into it. I just kind of grabbed a little bit of coal here. Uh, but... I, I want to talk a little bit about kind of the early season six here as well. So last season, I kind of blasted through the early game progression. Like, I think I may have even had diamond enchanted tools and armor and stuff like that by the end of the first episode, uh, or at least fairly quickly. I know, uh, yeah, because I'm pretty sure the very first episode, I made like a community enchanting area. Um... I want to take it a little bit slower this season. I'm not going to go at like a snail's pace. Uh, I'm not going to kind of crawl along, uh, but I don't want to just blast through everything. I just want to kind of play it by ear a little bit and, uh, and sort of take my time to some degree. Um, so expect to see, you know, a couple of episodes of progression here. Um, you know, a couple episodes of getting tools and getting armor and making, you know, the early game Minecraft stuff. I kind of want to cherish those moments a little bit in this season. I'm not, as I said, I'm not going to go to snail's pace. I'm not going to like, um, you know, spend 10 episodes trying to get to diamond gear or anything like that. But at the same time, I'm not going to, I'm not going to rush either. I'm going to take it just, yeah, I'm going to take it as fast as I feel like taking it essentially is what it's going to come down to. Uh, and I think it'll be good. We're going to do a lot of community projects over the course of this season. Due to the nature of the season and what we have planned and stuff like that, uh, pretty much everything is going to end up being a community build. Uh, so I'm sure we'll do plenty of stuff with farms and building and stuff like that. But uh, at the moment, I just kind of want to take it a little bit slow, uh, kind of enjoy the early game for a little bit before we get too crazy and start pumping out all sorts of, uh, you know, I don't want to have, like, uh, I'm not going to do an AFK fishing farm, I don't think. In fact, I'm not sure if there's an AFK fishing farm design that actually works in 1.13. I genuinely don't know. Is the, Are those still a thing? Maybe. Anyway, um, so I wanted to talk briefly about that, about how fast we're going to be going, but I still have work to do on the house. I've got these windows in. Uh, I need a floor of some sort. We might just end up using oak again. Or I suppose I could go get some spruce, although I think I want to use spruce for the roof. Um, and then I want to get some cobblestone to make stairs to kind of uh, outline the roof as well. So I still have a lot left to do to get this starter house up and running. I'm going to get back to it. Look at this! Found a proper cave! It took a little while. Um, I had to sort of staircase my way down. Uh, here. There it is. I was going to say, I know it's around here somewhere. Um, but right up here, this leads into that cave that we were just in. I, I normally, sometimes when you're in a cave like that and it just comes to a dead end, sometimes if you dig a little bit farther and you do a couple of poke holes and stuff, you'll find uh, a much larger area just waiting to be explored. And that's essentially what happened here. I did eventually find 
A larger cave after digging a couple of poke holes. Are we down a diamond level already? Oh, look at that. We are. Nice. This goes all the way down. That's pretty sweet. I don't know if we're going to find any diamonds super easily, but uh, still, that's not a bad little uh, find there. And there's plenty of iron, so I can get actual decent armor, because right now I'm wearing... Uh, I, I have a pair of iron boots that I found in a chest in a village, and uh, that's that's basically it. Um, so, yeah, we're going to need a little bit of protection because uh, I don't want to die. Uh, and my goal is to not die. Uh, I don't know if anyone has actually... Oh, no, 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 X died. That's right. He drowned. So no matter what, I won't be the first death on the server. Um... <laughs> But, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if people have died much or no, that's a where, where are you guys spawning from? I don't understand. This is all lit up. Oh, they probably came from down here. Okay. I understand. I see. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Look at that. We have found our first diamonds of season six. Hello. Come to me, my precious. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, and we got some lapis and stuff as well. There's actually a whole abandoned mine shaft down here. We could spend, like, three episodes just exploring these caves. Okay. I need you to die, please. There we go. You're dead. Okay. Oof, that was close. Look at this. I was exploring the abandoned diamond, uh, the abandoned mine shaft, and I found another eight diamonds, a full vein. That's amazing. So we now have 13 diamonds, <laughs> and I have not been playing that long. Like, okay, that was close. Um, lights, lights needed. Okay. Throw out a light. Okay, I think we're safe. Still, there's a lot of good stuff here, too. This is all, I mean, the thing is, we don't necessarily need, like, the redstone, but if nothing else, it's just experience. It's levels that we can use for enchanting and stuff. Okay, yep, I see you. We're just gonna leave those guys over there uh, and hope they can't pathfind their way to me. But uh, I'm super excited. This is, like, an amazing start so far. We have found so much good stuff. I should probably return <laughs> to the surface uh, before I get killed. And actually, my pickaxe is, like, on its way out. So let's just grab this little bit of iron here. I'll grab this little bit of gold up here. I think up there is where I fell. Yeah, I think right here is where I fell down. There's a little more iron there, but whatever. Um, this is not where I fell. Where did I fall down? Ah, right here. I see. Um. Right here. There we go. That's where I fell down. That was, uh, where something was. Anyway. This is, like, super, super good. This is, we're, we're, we've gotten incredibly lucky. For sure. I'm just gonna grab all this iron, and I'm gonna make my way to the surface, and then I'm gonna get out of here while I still can. Alright guys, I am back, and the starter house is done. Check it out, it's all done. It's nice and simple. Uh, it's a design that's very, very, very similar to a design that I've been using quite a lot late lately in my single player world, so not a whole lot of uh, planning and thinking going into this particular build, but that's kind of the whole point of a starter house, right? Like. Um, it doesn't take you a whole lot of time, and it's pretty easy to make, and you can make it within the first hour or so of playing, and, uh, you know, has everything you need. So, uh, I've got chests down here. Keep in mind, 1.13, you can now put chests right next to each other, which is pretty awesome. You just put one down, and then shift-click, and it will place like that, so you don't have to do the trapped and non-trapped chest stuff from before. We've got chests for all the different stuff so I can get organized right off the bat. Got uh, four furnaces and a crafting table. And then up here, this will ultimately be used for more storage, I think. Uh, there's some space up here to use for, you know, whatever I want. 
Uh, but I think ultimately this will probably end up being more storage unless I decide to put an enchanting area up here. But I think I'm probably going to work on making a community enchanting area instead for everybody to use. Because on my way, I did find this village and looted it and got 21 books. So that's almost halfway to a, a full-blown level 30 enchanting setup. So yeah, there we go. There's the starter house. Hermitcraft is going to be daily, uh, at least for a little while. Probably for, I'd say probably for at least like the first week, quite possibly for the first couple of months of season six. Uh, so yeah, just don't worry. If This is uh, a fairly simple little house and stuff, but uh, we're going to have daily Hermitcraft episodes. So no big deal. Uh, we'll get all sorts of stuff done. Also, Biffa is joining us this season. <laughs> He's back. I'm excited for that. Um, but yeah, that's basically the gist of it. Stay tuned for more Hermitcraft. There's going to be... I have some plans. I have some plans. There's going to be time lapses. There's going to be builds in many different styles and collaborations and all sorts of stuff. It's going to be an amazing season. But guys, I am out of time for this one. So my friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Make sure you check out all the other new, uh, all the existing hermits, and uh, make sure you check out Grian 2, our newest member. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.